This is Josiah Plays The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Alright, we've got some inclement weather here. And we're heading this way. To go to a question mark. Oh, what's going on right here? Happening here. Be gone. Reaper's the only one you talk to. Oh, they're hanging a Nilf Guardian. Stop. What did this man do to you? Him? Nothing. Appeared in the village. Looking to trade his ring for some bread. But we've no food, none. Because of the black ones. Trampled our fields, raided our granaries, burnt our orchards. So instead of bread, he'll get a noose. Please, good folk, do you not have ears? I did not want this war. I have deserted to go home to my wife and child. Take everything I have, but spare my life. Hmm. I'm thinking he's going to get what he deserves here. I mean, the Wolf Guardians did come through and do some terrible shit. I don't think I'm going to help him. Do what you want. Oh, we will. Don't you fret. Yeah, I'm going to leave this guy to his fate. I can loot him? Oh, it's a letter from his wife. Aw, oh, shit. Now they're gonna try to make me feel guilty. This is Hangman's Alley, apparently. Now they're gonna make me feel guilty. It's alright. The road is lined with the hanged bodies of peasants who oppose their new rulers. or had the bad luck of happening across bandits who had nothing against adding another dangling installation to the boulevard scenery. Alright, we're gonna read the letter from the wife. And feel bad about what we've done. Dilvin, I lost my father and brother in the last Nordling War. Please come back to me, for I'm afraid I'll lose my husband too, and our little Beatrice will lose her father. <laughs> I know the punishment for desertion, but I also know some men have made it home unscathed. We'll hide at Iffen's farm. You'll wait out the war in peace there. I pray for you every day, Alvine. I should write a letter back to her. Alvine, uh, your husband is hanging. He's dead. He should have thought about that shit before he joined the evil army and came up north and did some evil shit. Good luck with your life. Bye. It's kind of fucked up, I know. So here we are. There's a lot of drowners over there. I think they're drowners. Hangman's Alley. Oh, I see. As you go along here, there's more and more bodies hanging. Alright, let's, um... I don't really want to go to Black Bow right now. I suppose I can just kind of run through there on my way. Let's get let's get the horse out. 
What's over there? Drowners. <laughs> Guarded treasure. Well, shit, now I've got to check it out. Wild dogs? I got me the wrong sword out. Switch swords, Geralt. Oh god, Drowners- Drowners! No, I'm hitting a drowner with a steel sword. I can't find drowners and wild dogs at the same time! Switch back to the other sword. Fighting drowners, fighting dogs, fighting everything at once. Drowner's killed some dogs already. Is he the only one left? He was not the only one left. stuff. A lot of dead bodies here. Lots of dead dogs. Dogs v drowners. I do like the fact that different kind of creatures fight each other. That adds verisimilitude to the world. Highwayman's Notes. Highwayman's Notes we got here. And they say crime doesn't pay. Ha! Never heard greater fucking rubbish in my life. It pays like fucking mad. We took so much loot from that old sod that we won't drink it all up in a year's time, not even if we down Mahakaman's spirit like it's water and chase it with dry white from Beauclair. Some might blather nonsense about the gods punishing us and whatnot, but I'm too old to believe in fairy tales. Well, next stop, Novigrad. We'll sell what we took and live like kings. Obviously... That did not work out for them. And there's a sodden note here. A sodden note. Dear Vessi. Wait, didn't we see the name Vessi before? 
We did on the on the notice board. The notice board at the end. We couldn't afford to pay for ourselves and Patrick, so we've sent the young lad to you. I know things are tough your way too, that you've three tykes of your own, so know that if I didn't have to, I'd not ask this of you. But here in Velen, well, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Please care for Patrick like your own son. We'll come back for him soon as the war's over. A thousand thanks, Hannah. P.S. Patrick's got a sack of coin in his bags, enough to pay his guide what we agreed on. You shouldn't have to add anything of your own. P.P.S. Patrick's afraid of the dark. If you can, leave a candle burning by his bed. Oh, so they killed Patrick and took his bag of coins, and that's that's the big payday that these assholes just got. Well, I'm glad they're dead. Do I get a quest? A treasure hunt chest? Quest? No? Are those wild dogs attacking some horse? dogs is this just a riderless horse is that my horse oh that's roach they were attacking roach I'm like this poor horse then I realized it was my horse look no treasure in the stump what a shocker I always feel like there's supposed to be treasure in the stumps. Every time I find a stump, I tell this story about how I think there should be treasure in stumps. And then every time, I always act all surprised that there's not treasure in the stump. And every time I talk about it, just like I'm doing it now. It'll happen next time. Believe it. Believe it. I'm just checking to see if there's any... ...thing hidden out here under the water. Because there's a hidden treasure thing here, and usually when there's a hidden treasure thing right on the coast by water, then usually there's some treasure out in the water. This doesn't appear to be one of those times, uh, you know, as evidenced by the fact that there's... Wait a minute, what's that? No, it's not glowing. I can't loot it. See, this seems like the kind of place there would be hidden treasure. Look at that. That looks like it's supposed to be lootable treasure. Come on, tell me that's not supposed to be treasure. Looks like treasure. It's a sunken boat with a fucking chest in it. Oh, shit. What is that? What is that over here? What is that? There's something over here. Something interesting. Looks like a giant shell or something, but it's like, it's glowing. Aha! Now, we found stuff. I told you there'd be stuff out here. Bikovaro blade and a rune stone inside that giant shell. Why? I don't know. I knew we'd find something, though. If we just swam far enough, we would find something.
Alright. Let's go. Sumit mushrooms. Uh oh, neckers. dealt with but there's more there's more oh shit I'm having problems Gone worse. Could have gone worse. I mean, certainly could have gone better, but it could have gone worse. Now I've gone and lost a bunch of health. Where am I going? I'm trying to get over to that. But I'm also fighting everything along the way. A lot of Neckers in these woods. Terrain is so good in this. So good. I should probably just meditate. Make it, uh. I'm officially in black bow now, I think. I should probably just meditate, make it daytime, and also. Oh, it is daytime! It's 2.47 in the afternoon. Man, it, that is how stormy and cloudy it is. And in the shadow of the trees, it totally seems like nighttime. Totally seems like nighttime. Let's examine my food situation. Put raw meat on here. And, uh, we can stick with water. Look, a stump. Let's see if there's treasure in it. There's no treasure in the stump. What is this? Blah, 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 blah. Treasure in the stump. You've heard it before. You've heard it before. Uh-oh. Bandit camp. Bandito Campito. Campito is not a word in any language, especially Spanish. You'll regret 
Let's dance. Who's gonna shoot me? Somebody gonna shoot me? Well, he died fast. I like watching them kill each other. Disarmed that guy. <laughs> Found a random bandit camp. Took some dudes the fuck out. That one had a fish on him. These bandits were living right here next to Black Bow? I guess we're not right next to Black Bow, but we're pretty fucking close. Let's see what loot they had in their little bandit house. Shyadol's armor. Oh, they got good stuff in here. I'm hoping. Water? Hmm, actually, I don't mind water. Water and pepper. I'll take those things. Those are healing. That's all that was in here, though? Seriously? I guess most of their loot was in that chest outside. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, but hey, can you do? Alright. Let's keep going. Oh, this was the question mark I was heading for. Good. Now we've got this one, these two over here, and I want to go to Clay Witch to the Barber. So maybe I'll go... ...to this one next. I believe it's like the middle of the afternoon and it's this dark. What's this? Oh, it's just a plant. I thought I found something cool. Look, hidden treasure just off the road. If by hidden treasure you mean... A plant. Shadows, the clouds. Never feels like you're going through the same area twice. Everything is always so different. It's a big rock, there must be treasure hidden by it. This is kind of like the treasure in a. Basically, I found treasure hidden next to a big rock once, and now I assume every rock will have treasure. And I found. Treasure in a stump once, and I assume every stump will have treasure. Oh! There is treasure hidden here! Ha <laughs> ha! Vampire or there's a treasure chest here by the big rock. What I tell you, every time. Except for the times that it's not. Every time, except for the times that it's not. What do you make dwarven spirit out of? An empty bottle... Two Mahakaman spirit and a white myrtle petal. 
I can make vampire oro. Let's do it. Maribor Forest. I don't really care about Maribor Forest. Still gotta pick a few plants, you know. Well, fine. Apparently I can't even get a single fucking deer with a There we go. I just punched it to death! <laughs> Like, looking for your keys always in the last place you can- There, I got some raw meat. That's all I wanted. I just wanted a thing of raw meat. I saw a bunch of deer over there. You know what? Why- Why are all these lazy fuckers in Velen- I just thought of this. Why are all these lazy fuckers in Velen crying about not having any food and being hungry when there are giant fucking herds of deer running around all over the place? I see deer everywhere. And rabbits. And dogs, for that matter. I mean, okay, maybe the wild dogs are too vicious for villagers to go kill them, but... There's deer everywhere! Get you some fucking bows, and go... Go get you some food, people. Poaching. Oh, they're probably not allowed to kill the deer, because the deer are claimed by either the Nulf Guardians or the Baron. Or whatever. Yeah, you're probably right, Elios. You're probably right. They're probably they'll probably kill them if they kill these deer. They'll probably hang them for that. Uh oh, we got us a monster nest. What are those ghouls? They're ghouls. They're ghouls. Oh, well, ghouls are about to learn about a little thing I like to call dancing star. Now they're going to learn about a little thing I like to call Grape Shot. Now they're going to learn about a thing I like to call my sword! Oh god. Now they're going to learn about a thing I like to call running for my life! Oh, these are level 9 ghouls, too. These are tough. Let's switch to Ard. Alright, they were too far away. It's a lot of ghouls. That is a big fucking pack of ghouls, in fairness. Killed in the back with a one vicious ghoul blow. Oh man. Yeah, maybe I should switch to Igni against ghouls. Because Ard hardly ever seems to knock them down. And against a big pack like that. Axie's not that useful. Unless I can... Oh, that's what I should have done. Should charm him from a distance. While I was way back far away throwing the bombs at him, I could have been fucking Axieing dudes. Like that one. See, now I'm way over here behind this fence. This is the time to set them on each other.
Now they're all over me, though. Now they're fucking everywhere on my shit. My shit they are on. Alright, let's switch to Igni now. Now it's Igni time. Take advantage of that fast regen rate for my stamina. There will be no Quen, ever. But I, yeah, Igni was really good there. Alright, so. Ghouls killed. I'm almost almost dead again. Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. See, once in a while in these bodies with that are just ashes have like a fucking ruby or a gem or something a ruby or a gem a ruby or some other kind of gem among the ashes i guess they must have been wearing a ring or a necklace or something and then when they were burned the gem was left behind Oh, a gold ruby ring in there. Nice. Nice. Alright. We're doing okay here. Let's go down to this one next. Oh no, a dead cow! Two dead cows. I hope Noxmoo isn't still here. This could be traumatic for him. Trigger warning, Noxmoo! <laughs> dead cows. Dead cow alert. Good, Neckers. Now it's getting toward evening.
kill your friend. Dead dog? A dead deer. I wonder if you can eat like necker meat. Or Well, I don't know that you'd want to eat necrophage meat like a drowner or something. That'd probably be pretty bad, but I wonder if you could eat neckers. Because there's a shitload of those around if people need food. I mean again, villagers fighting neckers would probably be a bad 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 days. The Neckers would probably completely destroy the villagers, but... Just saying. Necker, it's what's for dinner. Oh, fuck! We got us another big monster up ahead. I need to know what level it is. So I can know whether or not I can realistically fight it. Nope! Nope! Nope, 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 nope. Nope to the nope power. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave that motherfucker alone for now. Another red mark. Alright, now I think I'll go to quit Clay Witch. And then, um, up to that last question mark right there. Go to Clay Witch and get a little haircut. Goodbye, Forktail. I'll see you again when I'm, like, level 12. Now what do we have? Wolves? Wolves don't like Igni very much. It's a lot of wolves. I'm gonna die. It was fourteen, Helios. Level 14 fork tail. That does not sound like something. I mean, at that level, for a big monster like that, with my current sword, I would probably need to hit it like a hundred fucking times to kill it. And it could probably one shot me. So I need to wait till I level up and get my griffin gear. Then I'll go fight stuff like that. Cool little remains of a little bitty tower here. There's gotta be treasure here! I don't think there is. Alright, it's about time for me to meditate, man. It's getting late. 
I'm out of stuff. Need some more raw meat. All right, let's meditate. See how 9 a.m.'s looking for us. Well, it's still pretty cloudy, but it's better. Another dead deer. It's better. And I still don't have beast oil. I have not found the recipe for beast oil. This looks like the kind of area that would have treasure. All these stone walls and ruined... Oh, this is a little graveyard. Oh, there's a little... there's a little shrine here. Some wolves. Well, I'm not finding any treasure here, though. Unless you consider Selendine treasure. I need to go this way. There's Crow's Perch, where the Bloody Baron lives. Eventually we will go there. What's up, peasant? Top of the day. What's up, old man? There are a lot of them beasties you've, uh, you know. There are a lot of beasties I've, you know. Aaron's henchmen, fuck you guys. You, why, you what? brought me ground! Uh, she's been, been on the yard for more than a week now. Buried her myself. Took the gold crowns from her casket too. The fairy men will not give her passage. Her spirit's lost. For it's me, it's me. She'll talk him into taking her. It's how she managed in life. It's how she'll manage in death. Alright, we're about to go visit a barber. For the first time. I don't know where the barber actually is. Oh, I see the icon on my... Yeah. Down, sit, sit. 
Sorry. Here we go. He said he would do it for free. Let's see if he's actually going to keep his word. Me savior. Greetings to you. So, in for a share. Alright, first of all, let's get a new haircut. Shaved except for ponytail, long and loose. Loose not too long. Shaved on the sides, short on top and a ponytail. The Alvin Rebel cut. Let's try long and loose. And style my beard. Clean shaven, full beard, bushy goatee, and short mustache. Friendly mutton chops. <laughs> Mustache and a soul patch. No, I don't think so. Clean shaven, please. So he lied when he said he would do it for free. Because he's charging me. So long. Let's see how Geralt looks now. So long. Get a haircut from you. I think this will do for now. So long. He looks a lot younger now. Time to war to the horses. Alright, so now we'll go to this last question mark right here. Faster. Rose Perch. Slower. Maybe I'll go ahead and take the road around to it. Just to see. What Come happens on. if we ride there on the road? There's some shrines. Hey Not so fast, Roach. Monster nest. Monster nest. Got some ghouls ahead. Monster nest. Soon them ghouls be dead. Watch out, Roach! My horse just got himself blown up. I killed one of the ghouls, though. There, they'll thin each other out for me. I want to see if I can knock a ghoul down with Ard. The answer so far has been no, but... They have good knockdown resistance, don't they? 
There's oh, he was knocked down for a second. It's the final ghoul down. Do 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 do. Son of a bitch. Chop it in half. Right in the middle of this road they made their nest. That's very rude of them. Think about it, those are some inconsiderate ass ghouls. Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. We'll get to that. Ooh, nice. Oh! Even more nice. See another ruby in the ashes. For some reason. More ghouls just came out of the nest. Let's see if I can use these explodable barrels to my. Well, the explodable barrels hit me too. <laughs> they fucked those ghouls up though. They did fuck those ghouls up. And me. Well, let's blow up the nest. Ghoul nest. Ought to just destroy it. What's my stagger percent on R? Let me take a look. 85% is all. And my axie duration is only 8.5 seconds, which is pretty weak. Once I get my griffin set, it'll go way up. And of course, once I get... Once I get this... No. This. Art Intensity. Five ranks of that will jack it up a lot, too. All right, that's all the question marks. There are no more question marks on my map. There are just places that have monsters that are too hard for me. So now, we will go to Lindenvale. 
Now we will go to Linden Vale. Which is here. Roach is a good horse. He's always around. Come on now. people. Am I even going the right way? Nope. I'm not. Hey there. See? Deer everywhere. Big tower right there. Snow so on the roof. Why is there snow here and not anywhere else? That's weird. Faster. Air is strange. Or not. Like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day. And the mist. Yeah, this place looks weird. It's Heatherton, not Lin I don't know why I kept saying Linden Vale. Is Linden Vale even a place? There might be a place called Linden Vale, but this isn't it. This is... This is Heatherton. And this is where we need to look for Hendrick. So we shall. But... That is going to be... In our next episode, I haven't hard saved in a long time. That's going to be on our next episode. So thank you for watching. This has been Josiah Plays The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt.